official look at downtown Los Angeles from the air. We're coming to you live from the Staples Center. A playoff battle in the West starts off with a bang right here. Game one. Kevin Harlan here alongside Greg Anthony and Chris Webber. D.A. David Aldridge is on our sideline. D.A., it's all yours. Well, LeBron James is closing in on the top three all-time list in scoring. LeBron said, it's an honor, but he added, scoring has never been on my list of goals. Facilitating, rebounding, defending, getting blocked shots and things of that nature always ranked above that. Kevin, he has filled up the box score for a long time. He can impact the game in so many ways. D.A., thank you. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Don Chichin, Porzingis, the incredible forward pair. J.J. Barea is out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Marjanovic in at the five down low. And for Los Angeles, up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. Green and Rondo in the backcourt. And it's James in at the small forward position. And it's the Mavericks to start out. Rondo against Berea. Donchich outside. Lock at six. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Yeah, the versatility and competitive fire of Doncic is impressive. You, you can just tell this kid loves to play the game. Now they're shooting their first free throws of the night. First free throw is good. Dwight Powell's checked in for Dallas. The free throw is good from Doncic. And here's Los Angeles. LeBron outside. All alone. And he connects with the jumper. As good as LeBron is at moving the ball, he's not going to pass up the jump shot. Maria, the pass to Doncic. Porzingis kicks to Berea. Six to shoot. And the rejection by James. Green in the post. And by Hardaway. And it's Berea with the ball. He'll bring it up for Dallas. Doncic, no good. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. Outside Rondo. Kuzma, outside. And the pass to Green. But they get it back. Feeds to Davis. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Przingis. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Lakers shooting their first free throws of this game. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Dallas with the ball. Plays it up and banks it in. And certainly not lacking in confidence. When Doncic gets these inside looks, he just jumps all over. LeBron drives in off the mark. His first miss of the game, one for two. Berea to the paint. Porzingis good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Yeah, going hard to the rack. Making a statement here early on. Yeah, G.A. Uh, I mean, great look. High percentage shot. 
That's the efficiency you're looking to establish. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting this number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. And the layup's good off the glass. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's LeBron. Out to Kuzma. LeBron trying to free himself up. And Kuzma gets it to go on the assist by James. He's one of the top guys when it comes to those catch-and-shoot jumpers. Kuzma, he loves getting those shots off in a split second. A pass to Porzingis. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Here's Davis, and no good, trying to use the glass. Nice interior defense. Can't give him any space inside, or he'll burn it. On your job side. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Here's Persingas, and another basket for Dallas. And how about the vision there from Doncic? Can make the easy pass and also the difficult. Here's Rondo. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Los Angeles shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Rondo taking two shots. That's good from Rondo. And there's no denying that Rondo is a wizard with the ball. Exceptional at exploiting holes in the defense. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Davis. JaVale McGee comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for James. And it's Avery Bradley in for Green. And he can't hit the second. Mavericks leading by four. Inside, Vinny Smith. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. Oh, Kevin, the coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy buckets like this, G.A. Bradley, that's for two. Los Angeles with a fresh shot clock. Now with the D playing soft off him, he might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. And you got to love the effort. I mean, he battles just as hard on the inside as he does on the perimeter. The Mavericks have gone 6 of 9, shooting it well. Now here's Brunson. Not a lot of room. No good from Finney Smith. Lakers trail by 6. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. And Caldwell Pope can be a volume three-point shooter, meaning when he gets a lot of attempts from there, he can fill it up from downtown. Doncic feeling it out. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Finney Smith's got five now. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And it's blocked. And not exactly quick off the floor, but Luka uses great anticipation to make defensive plays. McGee with the block. Rondo, wipe oh, and the buzzer beater's good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. That's the way you want to end the quarter, with the momentum on your side. A big-time effort for Perzingis, providing a lot of energy for Dallas. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we'll be right back after this. Yeah. LeBron James is the all-time leader in playoff field goals made, and he had this to say about his ability to nail clutch shots. I always feel like I got it. I always feel like I got in the clutch, no matter what's going on throughout the course of a game, uh, even when you're struggling at times or you're not shooting the bar particularly well, I just feel like it's going in. And you know, Greg, that's the type of confidence you got to have. Uh, the words of a leader. James has proven time and time again that he's dangerous in late game situations. 
and we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. See what this quarter has in store for. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen here, guys, from the match. What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchup defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. We've got DeMarcus Cousins. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with JaVale McGee. Then there's Avery Brant, and it's Rondo in at the point. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. The Mavericks have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Free throw drops for right. And the Mavericks making a change here. Curry's checked in. And so right kneels both of them. And here's Rondo. Passes to Caldwell Pope. And he converts the layup. Caldwell Pope's got his second bucket tonight. And Caldwell Pope just blows past defenders with his speed. Just a sensational finisher all around the bucket. Benny Smith passes to right. Outside curve. Shot clock at six. On the top of the key, Green for two points. Curry's got his first two points of the night. Lakers trail by four. McGee, the best to Caldwell Pope. Back to McGee. Good work there as it goes. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Curry with it. Right dishes to Curry. Another three for Dallas. It was just a mystery what the defense was doing there. You never want to give him that much space timeout, outside timeout. the three-point line. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. substitution here for the Lakers. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Cousins. Kyle Kuzma comes in for JaVale McGee. LeBron's checked in for Bradley. And it's Green in for Rajon Rondo. And then for Dallas, Dwight Powell's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Porzingis comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Doncic. Now here's Curry after LeBron James' miss. And the dunk by Porzingis! Not sure how he gets that pass off. I thought for sure he was going to pull the trigger. The drive by James. The shot, no good. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. Right, the pass to Curry. Back to right. Puts up a three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And now a 10-point Dallas lead. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. James, the shot drops. His shooting percentage improves. He's three for seven now with that best. Oh, powerful presence on the court. It's hard to match James' strength inside. Pass to right. Hard away against James. 
Left side, Hardaway. Great D that time from Green. Yep, it goes, and the Dallas lead is cut down now to just six in the basket from James. And the ball handling moves and chains are sensational. Effortlessly slicing through the D with his quick. Now here is Hardaway. No points in the game yet for him. Back to Curry. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got four rebounds in this game. To the inside. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. I love the fire in his replacement, especially inside where he dares defenders to foul. It's his first trip to the line. Two shots. First one falls for him. Well, coming out of high school, Kuzma was a very raw player, but his development was fast and furious at the college level, and he continued to get better once he entered the NBA. And the Mavericks making a change here. Brunson's checked in. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Dallas leading by five. Down low. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. The Mavericks shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. One twenty two left in the first half. Pass to James. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Tim Hardaway picks one up. LeBron is so aggressive. Virtually unguardable. Tough to contain when he's going up to shoot. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And the first one at the line is good. In many ways, uh, he feels like he's playing his best ball right now when, when you talk about LeBron James. And both free throws good for LeBron. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. They've led by as much as 10. Now the pass to Persingas. That one, no good. Kuzma with the defensive effort. The drive by Green, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. All around player. Kuzma's very solid at finding his guys in his spot. This is it to pop. Six to shoot. Outside, Brzingis. But three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. Aldwell Pope. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Man, you don't see this fella blow many layups. Not against D like that anyway. 12 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Persingis. Chalk up two there. Persingis has got four this quarter. Oh, don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition of dangerous. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. AD, you see how they're playing you in the first half. What's the adjustment going to be? So, you know, we got to come out with a great intensity, and it starts in warm up. So, we got to come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset, and talk out there and win the third quarter. I have never heard anyone say it starts in warm ups until now. Thanks, AD. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And a heightened atmosphere we have here this evening for NBA playoff action. Hey, everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith by my side. 
And guys, for the Mavericks, they put themselves in decent shape to grab that all-important Game 1 victory. So far, they've clearly been the better team controlling the flow. By no means is it a runaway, but they've put themselves in a great position. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Dallas played? So far defensively, no one had an answer for Porzingis. Hard to challenge the jumper because of the height and the high release. And since coming back from the injury, he's added strength to take on the contact. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Whatever their game plan was defensively coming in, that needs to change. Can't let a team shoot for a percentage in the high field. Expect to come out on top. It's on the coaches and the players to adjust. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody. With Kevin Harlan. our round one coverage continues and it's been a clinic out there by Kristaps Porzingis he's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with within the first few quarters yeah the offense looks crisp and guys are hitting their shots NBA playoff round one thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court and now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the floor for Dallas, Doncic and Porzingis, the incredible forward pick. Tim Hardaway Jr. out there with J.J. Barea. And it's Marjanovic in at the five, patrolling the paint. Doncic, no good. Lakers trail by four. Inside and finished off by Davis. I mean, the passing genius of LeBron coming to the surface. I mean, a look that only a few players in the league can make. Unloads from 13. Another shot. Ljanovic shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That one on Davis. The Mavericks have yet missed a free throw. Five for five. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Lakers trail by four. James outside. Davis inside. Mojanovic on him. LeBron, no good. Dallas has gone three of six tonight when they let it fly from downtown. Out to Doncic. Hardaway passes to Porzingis. Porzingis is double. Just five to shoot, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. It's the Mavericks now. Marjanovic passes to Persingas. Perea with it. He's picked up by Rondo. Dallas, no good that time either. A little surprise he took the jump shot with nobody around him. He could have attacked the pass. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Constantly knocking on the defense's door. I like the way Kuzma plays in attack mode. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Two shots. throw good Kuzma DeMarcus Cousins he's checked in for the Lakers Bradley comes in for Green Maxi Kleba he's checked in for Dallas Dorian Finney Smith comes in for Hardaway good on both the Mavericks leading Maria the pass to Doncic to the left side wing. 
And Porzingis, here we go. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. They needed that. They were getting a little tense after starting the half over three. And the jump by LeBron. James is just remarkable, showing no remorse when he's attacking the rim. And so it's Berea with it. They'll bring it up for down. They've led by as much as 10. Rodgers outside. No good with the triple. And one for five to start the half. I mean, whatever adjustments they made at halftime worked the right. Porzingis with the block. And with his limp, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Lakers. DeLon Wright, he's checked in for the Mavericks. James looking around. Pass to McGee. Clock is at three. Fades and shoots. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got three assists tonight. So impressive, the, the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, that's true, but we'll see if they can keep forging ahead for now. we got to give them credit for coming back. Lakers have gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Outside Rondo. A miss that time would have put him up. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. And stolen by LeBron. To the middle, Cousins, and Cousins throws it down. Uh, whenever Cousins get that close to the basket, it's game over for the D. He is such a forceful presence, especially dunking. Here's Doncic. A shot, no good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Rondo with the ball. Now right defender. Cousins trying to free himself up. The shot's good from McGee. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Doncic against Bradley. Doncic, no good. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such... Wow, Henry Gideon! Oh, come on, Hall of Fame, athleticism and ability... James has no problem throwing it down in style. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Bradley. And then for Dallas. Powell, he's checked in for Maxi Kleba. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Przingis. They could use a bucket. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on JaVale McGee. The Mavericks have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. And he knocks down the first one. The Lakers making a switch here. Green's checked in, and Dallas also making a switch. Curry's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw. Rondo passes to James. James throws it down hard. LeBron is so powerful. Amazing how he maintains focus even with the D draped all over. Mavericks trail by six. Roger Jobs eye. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Good Brunson. Over Rondo. Gallus, no good that time either. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, yeah, and, and Greg, they've been a more cohesive team over this stretch, and that helps account for their lead. Doncic, no good. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. 
The D is no shot at stopping James when he gets that low in that position. He's too big, too strong in the paint. You got to foul. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Two shots. Free throw good, James. Both teams will make substitutions. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And here is Hardaway over James. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. I love the defensive tenacity. James showing real hustle and energy on this end of the floor. And so it's Los Angeles holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We come back right after this. for more playoff basketball here in round one. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. 11-point game. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Davis and Cousins down low at the four and the five. And it's Rondo in at the one spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Wow, the way Cousins runs the floor for a big man, he can really hustle when he sees a chance for an easy score. Mavericks trail by 13. Brunson kicks to finish Smith. James against Hardaway. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. We see this all too often. You have to be willing to put it in. Now here's Rondo. Here's Davis. Got it. Good job in the low post. Hard to imagine them losing this game if they can keep shooting like that. And the Mavericks call time here. You look at James. What a contribution. And he's in a complete groove right now. I don't think they can stop him altogether, but, but they at least need to make him work a little harder than he has been. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. And then for Dallas, Porzingis comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Berea subbed in for Seth Curry. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I heard Rick Carlisle during that last break talking with the team. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort, gang rebounding, everyone involved. That was his only focus. Kevin? Okay, David, much appreciated. Now here's James. Tim Hardaway unable to get his last shot to go. Two on the clock. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Dallas gets called for the foul. And for gasoline has dropped precipitously during the pandemic, and so have the prices of gasoline. They are now at the lowest level. That one is off. Maxi Kleba, he's checked country. in for Dwight Powell. Still a dollar eighty-two, but customers in five states, actually from many more than five states, are selling it for less than a. He hits the second from the line. And right now, at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. Kleba, the pass to Persingas. Pass to Berea, takes a three. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Here's Rondo. 
Rebounded by Hardaway. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for him tonight. Perzingis against LeBron. Rocket six from about 16. Perzingis can't hit. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And they get it back. Here's Berea to the paint. Brunson finds Berea. Here's Perzingis outside Hardaway. And here's Berea outside. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Porzingis with the block, and he gets it back. Now Davis back to LeBron. And the Lakers with another miss. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. A nice shot by Berea. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. And the Lakers call time here. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. And his shooting percentage reflects just how efficient he's been. It's better than 50%, always a sign of a solid offensive performance. But his movement and his shot selection have also both been tremendous. You know, that's how you send a message to open a series. There's always one player who's the difference maker in the playoffs. And I think we found our man. Now here's Rondo. LeBron outside. Now here is Davis. Back to James. LeBron is doubled. Find the shoot. Davis finds Kuzma. On T. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. One fifty-two left to play in the final quarter. No good from outside. Lakers leading by 11. James outside. Shoots the three. Buries the long-range jumper. James has got 13 points in the second half. Got to be an all James, an offensive juggernaut. It's caught fire here tonight. Out left to the wing. Maria, the pass to Finney Smith. Lays it up off the glass. Oh, oh look, when the D will give it to you, that's where you want your shots coming from. Arms length from the bucket. Outside, Green. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. And the Lakers lead by 15. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for the Lakers. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders, and on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for LeBron. What a teammate he was tonight, setting guys up for layups and open jumpers on what seemed like every possession. And part of that is that people just aren't driving and having to fill up their cars. The supply right now of oil far outweighs the demand, and the excess is being held up. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. The physical market is being deeply affected because physical prices are low, because demand is down about 30 million barrels a day because of the pandemic. Jackson dishes to curve. Uh, taking away so much demand. That is magnified in the financial 58 market. seconds left in the fourth quarter. McGee with the block. Oh, this is McGee's role. He's out here to the field and the stifle shooters whenever he can. McGee controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. 
they made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Uh, that's why they're in the driver's seat right now, looking to put this one away. McGee with the block. Here is Cook. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. That one falls. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Oh, Greg, that's the dagger. You can tell they wanted that one. I know that's it. Onyanovich with it. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Anthony, tell us the focus for the team coming into the game tonight. Well, you know, before we started the game, you know, coach came in and told us that we knew what we had to do. You know, we tried to stop a lot of the action. And, you know, our biggest focus for the game was guard the ball. Uh, that's what we did come out of that timeout and never looked back. Led to a win. Thank you for your time, Anthony. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you next time. He wants to be cautious. We will act as quickly as possible because we understand the desire and the need to do so. Our speed will ultimately depend on a number of factors like testing and contact tracing to confirm our return is meeting our criteria of keeping people safe. No matter who's in charge, the biggest factor in our region's recovery may come from Congress, whether it will let cities and counties use federal dollars to fund the cost of running the community. For example, paying first responders and frontline workers as our area's tax revenues continue to shrink. This will be the worst uh, budget that the city will deal with in its history. I thought 2016 was bad. This one will be worse. Mayor Sylvester Turner reluctant to really get into just how painful uh, the next budget cycle could be, but Councilmember Dave Martin says he and others are hoping that the federal officials will look at those federal dollars coming to state and local officials and give them some flexibility so they can use those.